Starting in early March, you can redeem gold points for eligible digital purchases for the Nintendo Switch system from your My Nintendo account. Um, so, there's a little blurb here on the article. My Nintendo members already earn gold points by buying qualifying games. However, an exciting change is coming. Starting in March, My Nintendo members will be able to receive gold or redeem gold points for eligible digital games and content for the Nintendo Switch system. Here's how it works. Buy a qualifying digital game for Nintendo Switch, Wii U, or Nintendo 3DS family systems, or a physical game for the Nintendo Switch system. Earn gold points worth 5% of the amount you pay, not including any points or discount discounts used. You can then redeem those points on your on your next... Oh my goodness, I can't speak, Jesse. You, it's, you, <laughs> you've passed it on to me. <laughs> Rip. On your next eligible digital purchase, including games and DLC from the Nintendo Switch system and from, Nite from Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com. Of course, you can also continue to redeem your points for existing My Nintendo rewards for Wii U or Nintendo 3DS systems. Stay tuned for more details. We've seen Nintendo take away their old reward system, Nintendo or Club Nintendo. Were you, were you guys a part of that? I was. I was. No. No. Oh. Yeah, I... Most of my posters I actually got from Club Nintendo. They had a lot of exclusive posters. It was around the time Skyward mm -hmm. Sword came out. They also um, had the gold nunchuck. You remember that? Yes, yes, yes. I, I didn't have I, enough points. I... I, I, oh man, my mom wouldn't help me buy anything else. I was like, Mom, I just want the golden nunchuck. Oh yeah. And then there I was, just playing Wii Sports all alone. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. I am. I did you knock something everything. over? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I, I thought you no, fell Daniel. over. I'm like, oh gosh, Daniel. Okay. Well. Jeez. This is fun. Continue on. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that there's a lot of cool stuff there. It's really cool that they mentioned that whenever they were going to start their mobile phone stuff, that there was going to be a way where their smartphone games could interact with their console games. And I didn't really understand what they meant by that, but now it's like you were able to earn the coins and stuff in Mitomo or some other games. Sure. So now we can see how we're actually able to use those because before i think it was you can get the coins but then you have to use them within certain the games themselves yeah within certain amount oh, of times. okay yeah and they're still doing that but now there's a clear-cut way that's like hey if you have a hundred coins or however many coins you can use that to get a discount on mario odyssey or whatever Originally, I thought they were going to do something like with Super Mario Run, to where if you purchase the game, you make your way through the game to where after you play it for two or three hours, Nintendo, a little message pops up on Super Mario Run's like, hey, you seem to enjoy this game. If you would like to play like an actual Mario experience, then here is $10 off or $5 off of Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. That way they can mm -hmm. kind of use games on one platform to sell games mm -hmm. on another. They haven't really done yep. that yet. Um, I'm hoping since they just released Animal Crossing, whenever they finally release Animal Crossing on Switch, I'm Please hoping there are some <laughs> crossover stuff. Like Daniel and I talked on the last podcast and he's back now. So uh, One of these days I'll participate in the podcast. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so get this. My, I've got these Beats, uh, there's these headphones I wear, and, and, and I've got these other headphones, these Beats. Yeah. So so I knocked a bunch of stuff over. Did you and look. <laughs> oh, I've done that before to my oh, oh, too. That's not good. <laughs> Just get some Gorilla Glue and glue them together and they'll be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, but... Uh, Womp womp. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. I feel like that... that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just. Oh boy. See, the cool thing, because headphones usually. I have to pay respects, please. I have to pay respects. Tear up easily. So, my yeah. headphones, the cable can unplug from the actual headset themselves and I can't hear anything right now, so I'm just gonna keep talking while I fix this. Oh, <laughs> but there's a really cool uh, thing. Jesse that... sucks. Everybody talk trash. Yeah, so there's a really cool Jesse thing that likes. they could potentially do Catch with milkshakes. 
the Animal Crossing, as Daniel and I were talking about last week. Oh, hey, Jesse, welcome yeah. back. No, I, I heard, I heard all of the I suck stuff. <laughs> but yeah, right. there, was, there was the thing that we were talking about last week with Animal Crossing. I think it was last week, at least, where, where they used their one games on their smartphones to promote their actual games on the Switch. Um, it would be really cool, and this is kind of my dream, all of the stuff that you build inside Animal Crossing, all of the stuff you have in your house, if you could take that whenever you get the Switch version and somehow load in your house from the cell phone to the Switch or some of the items that you got, that way you're not essentially starting from nothing in the grinding. Switch version. Yes. That's so many hours on that and game. And then, uh, for example, if you're at work and you don't want to bring your Switch with you while you're on break, you can do stuff like play for 10 minutes, get a new item, and then mm -hmm. once you get home, you can take that item and somehow move it over so you can use it on the actual game. I think that would be a really cool way to not just make more money for Nintendo, but for them to have people that love the game to get the console or people that's just like why would I play Animal Crossing on my smartphone when I already have it on the Switch? Why would I go and mm -hmm. put money into it and stuff? But mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. but if they find out like, oh, well, while I can't play Animal Crossing on Switch, I can still earn stuff that I can use in that. So mm -hmm. I think that would be a cool way they could have them interact. I know that's a bit yeah. different than uh, what they're doing with their coins and stuff. But I think any kind of crossover they can do, whether it are these coins that you can earn on the mobile games or uh, buying the actual games, it's it's really cool to see some sort of interaction, interaction, and that's the direction that I hope they go into. That way it promotes, like, they're using the mobile games to promote their actual games, and they're using the home console games to promote their cell phone games. And... The coins, uh, bringing back this Club Nintendo type thing is really cool. Uh, you didn't get a chance to say, were you in the Club Nintendo where you could get the posters and stuff, Daniel? No. no. I wasn't. Sad. Neither yeah. Was I am sad. Daniel, so, so much stuff you don't have out. to feel bad. I remember there was a lot of people, um, like whenever I would go to a friend's house and I would ask them, like I would see them with a the Nintendo Wii and they would have a huge mm -hmm. stack of games and yeah. I'd be like, have you gotten any stuff from Club Nintendo? They're like, no, what's that? Mm -hmm. I don't care about that. I explain it to them, and they're like, they, they still don't care. So then I'm like, well, can I, I, your, yeah, can like, I, can I use yourself? the stuff? <laughs> because sometimes it would. It would be like you... Um, I also explained this. They had certain things. I think it was like if you bought a certain game, you would get a code when you registered to Club Nintendo that it would let you download another game. And it was like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon or something. I bought that oh. and they gave me, whenever I typed in the code on Club Nintendo, they gave me uh, Super Mario 3D Land for free. Oh. And then there was oh. another game that I bought for the Wii U. I think it may have been Wind Waker HD to where if you bought that game, they gave you a code for Pikmin 3 for the yes. Wii U. Yes, because I did that too. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, like if you bought like the, the Wow, the I missed out Zelda on a one. lot. Yeah. Did you buy the Zelda Wii U? Like the actual. Oh, no, no, no. I, I just bought the. Uh, I just so have like prefer. the standard white one. But yeah, like this, this whole thing is pretty cool. Uh, I feel bad for the people um, because there was something that I read where it said that people who have already uh, used their codes or whatever to put in the numbers from the games they've already bought. Is it not going to count? It, it counts, but after this launches or goes live or whatever changes they're going to make, the Switch titles that you put in are going to be worth a lot more. So, oh, so I ca it, it's kind of in your favor if you've been procrastinating and not yeah. entering them like I have. Yeah, so I haven't uh, typed in any of the codes. I haven't really dealt with it because right. as, as far as I knew, it was only stuff that you could do on mobile games. But now that they actually have real value to me and it's not just like, oh, I get a new shirt in Animal Crossing or something. Now it's like, hey, you can get 10% or possibly get 10% off or $10 off of this game by using the codes. Now I have a reason to actually it's actually do worth it. my time now. Yeah, but uh, really quick before we move on to the next story what is everybody's thoughts on this 
I want to fix my headphones again. So feel free. Once again, I don't have an opinion on this because I didn't use this system. So you guys make interesting conversation. No, I'm glad. I, I think it's I think it's a good idea. You know, like rewarding. I think um, companies in general who have a reward system. First off, I see Lindsay with that five dollar uh, super chat over there. Bless your face. What? Oh, thank you, Lindsay. Lindsay, one of my miscreants. Yes, give oh. Jeff a hey, Thank you so much. Yes, um, thank he's you. He's such a sweetheart. Love you, Jeff. No, Lindsay. Anyways, um, I think, but yeah, like re reward systems work very well for in incentivizing things. Like you think of Starbucks when they launch like their stars program. I mean, I'm more of a Dunkin' Donuts person, but like <laughs> when they or they give you emails saying like you can earn more stars if you do this during this specific time or if you buy this specific product, like it, it encourages people. People are like, hey, you want to go to Starbucks? I'm like gonna get extra stars, and people will be like, "Yeah, that's, I sound like a basic white girl right now. I am so sorry." But I mean, you think of you think companies in general who like get, like um um oh, like one of my favorites like uh you think of like frozen yogurt places like you go like ten times and they clip your card each time and then like your tenth or eleventh visit like you get like buy one get one free or something like that and it's just oh, like yeah, yo I that system. yeah I like rewards where I deal with that a lot yeah they work they work great you know it, it it kind of feels like they're giving back to you in a little bit um where Nintendo takes away in some aspects it's kind of nice that they give back in other places so yeah. I like it I think it's good see I'm I like Starbucks and Tim Hortons. <gasps> I wish we had Tim Hortons here. I wish we did. Oh, we have have, we have Tim Hortons where I live. I should send you some Timbits. <laughs> Friendship! I, I've only ever heard of Tim Hortons. I've never had the pleasure of visiting. Just like... Uh, oh, my grandpa used to bring me Tim Hortons all the time when we were little. Yeah, there's, when he used to babysit us. There's Damn, the restaurant Chicky Nando's in the UK. I've always heard of that, but I've never been able to go. Oh, Chicky so. Nando. <laughs> yeah. um, you had Chick Fil A. Oh, I know Nando's. I'm just gonna say though, as a as an authentic, a real, live Canadian, <laughs> Tim Hortons is overrated. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like it. It was so good. The coffee. Yeah. Okay, actually, I like their food, but it takes them eight years to make a sandwich, and <laughs> <laughs> like it takes them so long. It boggles my mind, and then the coffee is really bad. I, I think McDonald's coffee is better, and that's really saying something because people who know me IRL know I'm really picky about my coffee. So yeah. oh, I I feel mm -hmm. Daniel that since your headphones got ruined, you're kind of bummed out with the podcast a little. No. <laughs> like you, you can't get excited about anything because your expensive oh. headphones are ruined. I feel bad about well, that. I got I got them for free, but I mean, still, yeah. they were still beats. Yeah, but, but you you got um, up because I mentioned like the the keyboard <laughs> or whatever. So it's like I if I wouldn't have mentioned that, I feel like they wouldn't have been it's broke. Okay, it's not your fault, Jesse. Look, it's look, my own fault Daniel, for being clumsy. Just get gorilla glue and glue them I'm back together, perfect, and but... it'll be fine. It'll uh, yeah. it'll be okay. But um, as for the my Nintendo stuff, <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to <laughs> our topic. The, um, I think it's a step in the right direction, but what I'd really like them to like to see them do, which is a bit slightly off topic, is I really want their eShops to line up. Because, oh, yeah. just as an example, let's oh, say yeah. I bought Earthbound on my Wii U on the eShop. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to buy it again on the Switch Oh, you e mean like having like three oh, yeah. like accounts? But what about... a system that's all tied together like that. What about what they did um, with the Wii and Wii U Virtual Console, yeah. where you could you could buy the game Transfer again, yeah. but with the Wii and the Wii U, they had it so that if you purchased, uh, say, Super Mario Bros. on the Wii, yeah. then you could only pay, it was like $1 or $2 or something like that to get mm -hmm. the HD version on the Wii U. So you weren't buying yeah. the full game again, you're just paying like two dollars to get the game I yeah think and, and like i did that. that as well with um super metroid actually as people know i love um i downloaded it originally on my wii i played through it when i got my wii u i did the whole data transfer with the really cool pikmin animation that it does where they're carrying all your save data over to the wii u and um and then yeah i could i could either save my money and just go into the wii menu through the wii u and then play the game or i could re-download it again and pay a dollar fifty or something, and uh, I ended up doing that. I just bought it again because 
I love that game, and I wanted to have like the suspend points that those uh, Wii U eShop mm-hmm. has. But it's you know after the thought, like how many different versions of that game do I have? <laughs> I felt like I, I went half seas with my brother to get a Super Nintendo cartridge of it a while back. I got it on my Wii, and then I rebought it again on the Wii U. And I have a Super Nintendo Mini with Super Metroid on it. Jeez. And I'm like, I gotta stop buying this same game <laughs> over and over again. It's kind of so. like they have the new Hyrule Warriors coming out, right? And I was like, it's... watch the preview. I'm like, dang, I've spent so much time on my Wii U version. And then like they launch like Breath of the Wild skins, and I'm like, yeah. Get on, I'm I yeah. know I'm gonna buy it. It's a train wreck. That's what Lady Pilvic was saying uh, yeah. whenever she was on, because she said that I think she was saying she had bought all of the oh yeah uh, all the, the DLC, DLC and stuff yeah. the Wii U version. <laughs> and spent mm-hmm. so much time, and now it's like oh it's all free on the Switch, and it's like no. Well, they did that with Mario Kart too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Mario Kart, I couldn't physically get upset because my disc started giving me that that it was like a manufacturer problem, but it was out of warranty, no so I had to buy a new one anyway. But still, I was like, man, if my game wasn't actually broken, <laughs> I would be upset. And like now, I'm actually starting to feel it with our Warriors, and I'm like, yeah, I think I I have a love for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, maybe not just for the game itself, but because. It was the first game that I was sent by Nintendo to review. So, like, it was the first game that I was playing, like, two weeks before everyone else. So it it has a special place (laughs) in my heart. But uh, moving on to our next news story. Can I say one thing? Oh, yes, yes, sorry. Yes, say a thing. Hashtag, where's the VC? Let's get it trending. Come on, hashtag, where's the virtual console? Oh, Oh, I thought you were going to say voice chat. On the ch- well, let's get that in the voice chat. Hashtag where's the VC? Yeah, that's what, that that's, our, that's what RPG was saying, dude. All RPG right. was saying. Hashtag so, where's the VC? Ashley let's or Miss Click, would either of you like to host any of these next news stories? Ooh. I'm doing Kingdom Hearts. I'm calling it now. <laughs> All right. Let's do Kingdom Hearts. You can have that. 